my name's Nicole. Today I'll be doing a short demonstration on how to use miscellaneous crackle medium. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll be right back to demonstrate this product. All right, everybody, I am back. So as you can see, I pre-painted a pine board with uh, two coats of miscellaneous no wax chalk paint. The color I used was Gypsy. So the next thing you want to do is just make sure that your piece is fully dry. And then you're going to take your crackle medium and using a popsicle stick or a paint stirrer and just mix up your crackle medium really well just to be sure that nothing has settled down to the bottom. And then you'll just want to pour a little bit of, of the crackle medium into a separate bowl. You never want to paint out of the actual container because you can risk contamination of the product. So now you want to apply a heavy to generous coat of the crackle medium and you usually apply it in random areas or areas of interest that you want to show that aging. The heavier you go with the crackle medium, the larger the crackling effect will be. So I'm just going to do you know, some lighter, thinner coats in random areas and you'll be able to see what I mean about the different levels. And so you can see I kind of went really heavy right here. This is medium to thick and then this is a lighter coat, but they're all definitely a pretty generous amount of medium. So now I'm going to allow this to dry till it's a, a tacky state. So I will be back in a couple of minutes. All right, so I have let our board dry to the tacky state. So as you can see, if I touch it, it's still wet. Um, it's just, as I said, tacky. Um, and now I am going to paint over with a contrasting color um, of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. I chose a barn door red, so it's definitely contrasting. So the thing that you just have to be careful of is when you paint, you don't want to um, drag, like push hard down onto the surface and then drag your, your paint. Because then you're going to drag that crackle medium. You want to just lightly paint over it. You just want to um, basically layer that paint on top of the um, medium. You don't want to... Um, drag that medium around. Um, you want to try and keep it in its spot. So now you have two options. You can allow this to dry and let it do its magic on its own. It'll take you know an hour or two before you start seeing the crackling effect. Or you can get your handy dandy hair dryer or um, heat gun and speed the process up. So I am going to take um, blow dryer and speed this process up a little bit. just in a few seconds you can see that the heavier part where I said that it's gonna have real big cracks it's already starting to crack and then this part was the medium and it's just now starting to a little bit so I'm going to finish this up I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like hello everyone so I am back I've allowed this piece to thoroughly dry and as you can see in the three different areas we have different types of crackling. This was the area that I went really heavy and you can see the crackling is real large. This was the medium to thick coat and the crackle is not quite as large but it is very pronounced. And then this is where I went lighter with the crackle medium so the crackle, it, crackle effect is definitely lighter. So as the paint dries 
thoroughly, it causes that top layer to shrink and pull, and that's what creates that crackling effect. Um, at this point, if you wanted to dry brush or paint another layer on top, you would do so and allow that to dry. And we do suggest once you've created the effect that you're looking to achieve that you seal this with a luster for that extra durability. And if you have any questions on Miss Lillian's Crackle Medium or any of our other products, you can go to MissLillianspaint.net under the FAQ section. Thank you.